What is going on everybody? Today is the day that we are going live about how to find buyers using batch leads. I know you guys have deals out there and you're probably wondering how do you find buyers? Well, I actually have a live deal that I need to find a buyer for and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. We're gonna make some calls and see if we can get anybody on the hook because we get, we're gonna try and do a walkthrough of the house tomorrow, all right? So guys, if you've been wondering how to get buyers for your deals, look no further is what we're gonna do today, all right? So if you're not sure how to do it. So guys, let's dive into this deal really quick. So I JV a lot. Okay. And what JVing is, is basically you connect with wholesaler, real estate agent, anyone that has a deal and you say, Hey, I have awesome buyers in that area and I can bring you buyer and let's just split the deal 50, 50, whatever you can negotiate. So this deal that I have right now, I networked with someone that has a deal and they needed help finding a buyer. They were about to cancel the contract. And I said, don't, don't cancel that contract because they couldn't find a buyer or they didn't feel like they had enough time. I said, don't you dare cancel that contract. It sounds like you have a deal here. Let me help you find a buyer. So today guys, what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to find a buyer. I got a deal from networking with someone so I'm doing a JV deal. And this deal is looking like it might be a 30 to $40,000 deal. And then we're going to split it 50, 50. I need to tell the girl to join my club so she can, the painless wholesaling club, so she can get 60% and I can get 40. But anyway, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to use batch leads to find a buyer. And if you have a wholesale deal, you know, what the next steps are you know, showing you the mind map, exactly the steps to take and what we're doing. So if you're interested or if you have deals, or even if you don't have buyers and, and you want to work with me or my program to help you find buyers, hit me up. Join our JV partnership program we just rolled out today. But here, let's free, let's go find a deal. Let's find a buyer for this deal. So first thing I'm going to do for you guys is we are going to go through the mind map because the mind map is the lifeblood of everything I do. I document every process, every system in here so you guys can have the unlocked version. Okay. So let's go to finding cash buyers because that's where we're at right now. We have a deal. I found a deal. It doesn't really follow the reverse wholesaling strategy because this is a deal in the area that I've never worked in, but it doesn't matter. You can use this process. So we are in this process of finding, we need to find a flipper or a rehabber that will buy this property. Now, these are all the steps that you can take to find a buyer. So I'm going to try Facebook. I'm going to try social media really quick. And then I'm going to go to batch leads because that's, you know, this is what the call we're doing on the call here. So let's go real quick to Facebook. Okay. So what's the first thing you do is you go Richmond real estate investor. Okay. So I join both of those. All right. And hopefully they can just let me write in so I can just make a quick post. So I'm going to make a post, but I'm also going to just do a quick search for buyers. I want to see cash buyers commenting so I can just reach out to them on Facebook or if they have their numbers. So what I can do right now is I can just straight DM these people or I can email them. I'd rather just call one, but let's see what else we got. All right. Well, if I were to email them, I would put down the, the address, the purchase price of the house. I'll show you kind of like what an email looks like when you're trying to market a property. If you go here to wholesalers deals, this is like what most of the emails look like. They just kind of give a little bit more information. You can click here for pictures. So you want to kind of create an email or a landing page that looks like this. So this is kind of what I would send in an email. But again, I'm just trying to get on the phone with somebody. Going back to the mind map, you saw how easy it was for me to find buyers emails in Richmond, Virginia, where I have this deal. After that process, now I'm going to show you guys how we could use batch. Okay, so here's a full video of how I do it. But again, you guys, you have the pleasure of me doing it again. Let us find a buyer in Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to actually just type in the zip code. Let's see if I can just find it with the zip. Let's go right here in North Chesterfield. So what you guys know we do, we hit it with the quick filter really quick. We go cash buyers. So what we would do here is we go to filter. You're going to go to residential. We only want residential cash buyers, single family, since it's a single family house. We want to know what buyers have purchased a property in the last year and that have sold it within the last year. So we go 12 months. So we go cash buyers and we say, yes, we only want cash buyers. We want all, it doesn't matter if it's company owned. And we want to know if they purchased in the last 12 months, exclude if it is their address because we don't want the granny that has the house that she bought for cash and just lives in. Okay, let's see, 273. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do here is I can skip trace the person that bought this, but I like calling the agent because the agents usually just can make a quick phone call and talk to the buyers and I don't mind paying them like 3K, a couple grand to get it done. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's nice. It's a nice house. All right, let's check out this agent. Alina, you know Alina works with wholesalers. You already know she does. Come on, guys. You ain't playing around. Let's get it, Alina. Don't be afraid to work with me. All right, let's see. It's a nice house. I might move to VA. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Alina. Yes. Hi, Alina. My name's Nathan, and I'm calling because I noticed that you had represented a, it looks like a flipper on 1 Yancey Street in Richmond, Virginia. Is that, is that right? Yes. Cool. Well, hey, so look, do you have a couple minutes? I just want to run something by you. Uh, sure. So I'm a, an investor. I flip properties all over uh, the United States, depending on, you know, the area. But I have a property right now that I'm looking, I was looking to flip, but right now with the way the market is, I'm not feeling, feeling very confident about it, but I want to assign it or wholesale it to someone. So I'm calling some agents in the area to see if they represent present flippers that they could connect me with. And then I'm willing to pay you your commission to bring me, you know, bring a buyer for the deal. Okay, sure. I can look at that. Okay. Have you worked with wholesalers before? I have. Okay, great. Yeah, so this deal, it's a really good deal and it's pretty close to the one you have. So let me ask you, what what information would you need from me in order to send this to your buyer and make sure, you know, see if he's interested? All the property details. Um, okay. What we need to know if he can get access to the property. Okay. And um, also, um, do you have like a listing ready for this? Did I, you just I, purchase it? I haven't purchased it yet. I have the contract to buy it, okay. but I'm able to assign it. So my goal would basically be you bring a buyer and then I assign my, my contract to your buyer for a fee and then we'll we'll put your commission in the assignment. Okay, sure. Just send me the details and I'll see what I can do. Okay. And I do have a quick question for you. Do you have a couple buyers or you just work with like one or two? Because I just want to no, know. I do have a couple investors. Okay. Well, I'll send you that information and I'm just kind of curious because I, you know, time is of the essence and I know you're busy and you probably, but I just want to know, when do you think you'd be able to get back to me if I can send you all that information? Uh... Sunday. Sunday? Okay. So check with your buyers and then if you get back to me, I'll text you. This is my cell phone. Is this the best number to reach you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it is. And by the way, what kind of commission do you usually like to take on a deal like 3%. this? 3%. Okay. To connect. All right. Sounds good. Well, I will send this over to you right now. And if you could check in, I really appreciate it. Okay, sure. Thank okay. you so Thank much. You. Do you prefer if I text you or email yeah. you the text information? Is okay. Text is better. Okay. All right. So I'll probably just send it both just to be sure. Thank you, Alina. I appreciate your time. Have a good one. Bye. Bada bing, bada boom. She's going to bring this to her buyers. And, you know, honestly, she wants to wait till Sunday. That's a little too long for me. Let me show you how I'd send that information. So we went here, we found the buyers, and then we're going to step nine of marketing the deal. And what I did is I, I'm calling buyers, not from the buyers list, but I made a Facebook post, reaching out to local agents. That's literally what I just did. And you have the dispositions checklist, which you get, obviously, if you're in the program, the JV program, partnership program. And it tells you every step that you need to make when you're trying to find a buyer. And you can check these things off. And then look, once we give him the information, he's probably going to want to walk it. So we're just going to have to set up a walkthrough with the seller. And once that's done, you accept the offer that comes through. You get a non-refundable earnest money deposit and then it's over. And then if there's any potential issues, here's some ways to overcome them. But uh, guys, that went nice and smooth and that's how you do it. That's the process. And guys, I can keep doing this. This is how you make money. You get a deal, whether it's your deal or your JV deal, you find a buyer, an agent that can bring you a buyer. You send them the information and it's done. You assign it and you make money. I got a $19,000 deal that I've already assigned from JVing with someone in the program and we're, he's getting 60%, I'm getting 40 because he's a part of the club. So what I'm showing you sounds cool and if you guys think you can do what I'm doing, which I know everyone can because they're not doing anything special. And the cool thing about JVing is there's like no marketing expense. So when I make this money, like a 10K, 20K, whatever, it's literally all in my pocket. You know, I had a big wholesaling business where, you know, after paying everyone, it would... I would have less than that sometimes after all the expenses. So it's kind of cool to have this strategy because you can uh, you can make more money. I mean, you can keep more money. And that's what I'm trying to teach you guys. Okay. All right. Have a good one, guys. Hope that was helpful. Go find buyers. Super easy. Nothing crazy. You just got to make... It took me less than an hour to find two solid people that can bring me buyers. Batch Leads, Nathan Payne out. <laughs>